Hey guys, what's up? It's McBucksauce here. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we have the Caves and Cliffs update release part one right here today. We're going to kind of show the big stuff. I'm not going to go through all the technical kind of small little changes and whatnot, but most of it, everything kind of new, all the new blocks, mobs, etc. We're going to kind of go through it because I mean, we're all going to experience it one way or another. Um, none of the new biomes are in right now, most, mostly just new blocks. Um, you can obtain, I think, a lot of these, if not all of them, either through farming. Because all this copper right here you can get from drowns now instead of iron or gold. or I think it was gold or something. They dropped something as far as, far as tridents. But... All right, here we're going down the list. So the new ore that was added is copper. So this is the copper ore right there. Copper ore. Ooh, so beautiful and gorgeous. It's like a mix between like iron and emerald mix in there, but cool. And now the ore on the blocks did change a little bit. You can kind of see especially with like gold it did change diamond looks similar but it they all changed in one way or another they did kind of tweak them I'm not sure about emeralds but I believe they all did and then we also for the uh, ores we have uh, deep slate ores in all their glory right here so deep slate will be kind of like another biome almost down deep below zero pretty much um, going down deep deep into the caves or wherever you are uh, in the world um, so those are the new kind of textures for the ores right here as, as well as I guess we'll move on to the deep slate blocks because there's a bunch of them and then stairs walls and slabs even but there's a, quite a few so we have the cobbled deep slate and the walls right there and then the blocks themselves, deep slate tiles, and I think the raw, raw one is right here, deep slate, yeah, deep slate. So I guess this is what they will look like, kind of like the cobblestone, or is it this one? Okay, wait. So we have cobbled, and then we have deep slate. I'm guessing, I'm guessing deep slate is what we might see in caves, and then if you were to mine that, Without silk touch, you'd probably get cobbled, which makes sense. Like regular stone and cobblestone. And then we have chiseled, cracked, and then the bricks and uh, cracked. Oh, wait, that's cracked. What is this? Cracked deep slate. Cracked deep slate tiles. And then bricks. Okay, so those are tiles. These are bricks. <laughs> I mean, a bunch. And then this is the. Uh, the uh, infested one, which will probably, if they break, not like that, but I think, I believe that would be just silver fish, silver fish coming from that deep slate. And then we have slabs, all the walls, but these are new blocks right here uh, that we can build from and we can find them in the world. Don't have to go into the nether and grab the, uh, what is it? What's that stuff? Um... What is it? If I can find it. The new... <laughs> I, I don't remember what it's called now. The new dark box. If I can find it. Where is it? It is this stuff right here. Blackstone. Easy enough. So you get blackstone from the nether. Now you can get... <clears throat> black <laughs> deep slate pretty much from the overworld. So that's cool. New blocks. And then uh, let me clear my slate right here. So now we have block of raw iron, raw copper, and raw gold. And I don't think... No. There wasn't any for uh, the other ores. But this is that them right there. So copper, copper, and gold. Iron, copper, and gold. I think I said copper for iron. But iron is kind of cool. You got, It almost looks like a block that you can build with. So that's kind of cool, almost similar to cobblestone. So that is nice right there. And I do believe, how do you craft that? I mean, you can craft them or 
something like that. But I mean, we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna go through all of it because I mean, I'm gonna go into my survival world and trying to get some of the stuff anyways. But as far as the ores go, we have the raw iron, gold, copper, and then we have the ingots, which I think these get smelted. We could just test them out right now. Why not? Let's find ourselves a furnace right there, and then we'll grab some coal. Grab a blast furnace right there. Stick in the coal. Stick in the copper. Smelt this guy up. And it should be the ingot. So there's the ingot. So after mining these ores, I guess you would get the ingots right here. The raw ingots. And then smelt those. And now for those blocks right here, the uh, block of raw iron, the way to obtain that um, is uh, obtaining it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go through all of it because this is going to be a long video. I just kind of want to make it short because I'm actually going through all this new stuff too right here. Uh, we'll get to all that later. Uh, don't mind that. All right, moving on. We have ourselves the uh, copper blocks and stairs no walls or slabs but maybe eventually uh, using this block right here or uh, this guy right here or even that guy right there once you get the ingots you can make all this fabulous goodies so I think these are the wax ones yep so these are the wax ones and then these are just weathered copper and just regular copper oh that is supposed to be uh, the uh, block of copper change that right there so these are the kind of the weather cycles I don't really know how long they they kind of start to oxidize right here but these are kind of going through all those cycles this is the first stage and then this is fully oxidized copper right there this will go well with prismarine these two blocks so that's kind of cool and then with the uh, if you don't want to weather them if you want to kind of leave them as their block state after they kind of go through the weathering cycle you can use wax from bees and then pretty much click on the blocks or st stairs or I think these are the wall uh, cut cut coppers and then all right here these will remain like so and if you just take an axe hit them then they will kind of continue throughout their weather cycle right there Pretty cool. Another way to use bees. Alright, now we have the azaleas. So these are the, the uh, flowered azalea bushes right here. So that's kind of cool. Different little bush. And then we just have regular azalea leaves, which probably won't even be able to tell the difference between this and other leaves. I guess, is it oak? I think it looks similar to oak. Or even jungle, but those are the leaves. And okay, so I got flowered azalea, which pretty much if I put it down. So I think these are the saplings. Now, if I. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to try it. If I can find bone meal. Right there. Will these grow? Yeah. Okay, so these would grow. There is not a new wood type, but this there is kind of a new tree. So this is the azalea tree. Now, if this spawns in your world, pretty much directly below it or around it, if you dig down, you'll find the uh, lush caves. Which is kind of cool. It's a good indicator on where you got to go to find those caves to get all the other kind of leaf type variants right there. Or those guys, little giant lily pads. And then this, I think, just... Oh, okay, so it flowers, too. Alright, I guess that flowers. Nice. Yeah, but that's that. Cool stuff, I guess. <laughs> and now we have ourselves dripstones right there. Pointed dripstones, which are pretty much stalactites, stalactites, all those good stuff. And I think you can bone meal them, but I believe they will grow. Just kind of, You can kind of see the drip particles of water and uh, I think it just takes time I can't bone mill these is what it looks like I'm trying to but they're not actually growing but basically these are traps booby traps so if you're to break the block above it or I think even this block if you have a long kind of spike going down they would fall down 
and break or let me see do I click oh okay so I can use this stuff to kind of speed up the growth growth process if I can get it again there you go and they connect and they actually don't look too bad as pillars as far as pillars go and then if I were to break the top block they would fall and then you can pick up the drip stones and then uh, pretty much farm them I guess so if you were just to break the block below you would still have these I believe they grow by themselves they should grow and then I think this is the same way yep so you can do the same way and then any if you end up falling on these or if mobs end up falling on them it's not gonna be fun and then you can break it again and then we have dripstone blocks which I guess if you take dripstones you could probably craft them up I don't know how many you need maybe it's four maybe it's nine but it's four right there and you got a block I guess I mean you could use it somehow I don't really know but it doesn't look too bad and it is nighttime uh, let me get a bed and sleep through the night bed is too far away I'm like right next to the bed all right it's morning we'll toss that bed aside okay so cool stuff that we have I mean a lot of this is cool but this stuff right here moss moss carpet moss blocks finally I mean I was hoping to get some kind of like grass slab or something like that or like a full grass block and now we do with moss and that is pretty sweet right there so you can do a lot of decorative designs landscaping and I don't know if mobs can spawn on this moss carpet if they don't that's pretty sweet and it does blend well with the grass too like if you kinda go further away I mean you can kinda see it but it's with the edging I guess if you were to kinda stick it in with the grass it is harder to see I mean you can still kinda see it but that is that that is pretty cool and you can farm these with um, I guess is it only cobble uh, stone or is it really like any block I mean we could try that out let me just see let's grab ourselves I guess where's cobble we'll grab cobble we'll grab if I can find stone stones not around we'll try different blocks and I need bone meal which I don't have so if I just do something like that, blah, 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 like that, and just try it a little bit and see if it will kind of spread. But you can, you don't. I don't think you need to bone meal these, but if you can bone meal them, if you have bone meal, they should spread. Like so. So if you take moss here and then a moss there, bone meal them, or is it the block? Oh, okay, so you can bone meal the block. I don't know if you can bone meal the carpet. No, so it's the full block that you can bone meal. And then they do spawn in azalea trees. So that's one way to get the azalea trees and bushes. Uh, what if I do this? Will this spread too? So it doesn't really seem to want to spread on to the nether bricks or even the cobble I mean a little bit on the cobble unless I place those there but either way maybe it's stone but they, it did spread around the grass but that's cool so moss is the thing now and look at that creeper so he just pretty much died and killed himself good for him alright so this is like a new dirt block rooted dirt right here and uh, this should is this rooted dirt yeah okay so this is rooted dirt right there rooted dirt so I guess once I bone mealed the azalea trees they actually do spawn in these this rooted dirt and then with the rooted dirt down below or I think it may be in caves you get the uh, hanging roots which I'm not, I think they're just a decorative block. I mean, it's pretty cool still. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, you find root dirt below azalea trees, naturally spawning, or if you bone meal them. Like so. I guess we'll move on to this guy right here. What is this? A giant pink flower spore blossom. And as the name shows, it is producing spores. Which is a cool particle effect. So if you want particle effects besides the nether, there you go. And these can only be placed upside down. But they do look they do look nice. I do like them. Not sure if you can farm them. Probably not. I would say it's just a flower. But there's that. That's the thing now. Spore blossom. Right there. Okay. And now we have a glow lichen. Lichen. Glow lichen. And I should have shown this at night, but they actually do glow. So you can place them on the ground. I bet you can probably place them on the ceiling of blocks. And I didn't mean to do that. Just lightly tap it. Okay, yeah. So you can place this basically all four sides of a block on the walls, and you can climb. You can climb them up, not in flying mode. I guess you can't climb them. I guess you can't. Wasn't there a new vine? I swear there was a new vine. I could have sworn there was a new vine. Anyways, I think there was a new vine that you can climb in caves, but... And let me grab some bone meal. I think these produce berries. Or they don't. Because there is a new berry. Oh, look at that. Glow ink sack. I just found that. Yeah, so I was <laughs> basically just kind of looking through. There's probably still s new blocks and stuff that I haven't actually seen. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah. New berry. Where is foods? Right here. And, uh, I don't see it now. Let me go through here. I did see it. Right there. Glowberries. And you can eat them. I don't know. I, th they sh I don't know if they spawn on these. Glow lichen? Yeah, it would make sense. Maybe it needs to be in a dark place. I don't know, but we have new food type, new berry. I guess it's pretty much the same as um, regular berries. Um, but we have a new food. That's pretty cool. Looks like peaches, but nice. And then we have uh, giant lily pads. I think I need my bone meal again. Right here. And these should hopefully grow. Yep, so they do grow in different heights. How high can I get it? Oh, they get pretty tall. <laughs> so the cool thing about these is you can't stand on, them, stand on them for too long. So you can do some cool stuff with parkour. And then you just fall straight to the ground and die. Just like that. So with a bunch of these, you can kind of use it as a way to kind of climb up and down quick. And then they pop back up like that. Sweet. Nice. I think I need this. I want to test something out here because we have amethyst blocks and then we have budding amethyst. And I don't need to be on bone meal because I just place the um, budding amethyst blocks down and they are actually budding with amethyst ore. So this is the uh, amethyst block. <clears throat> Not really sure what you do with this block, but as far as the budding amethyst goes, you can farm amethyst like so, which is pretty cool. Because with amethyst, you can make a special spyglass. And uh, tainted glass. That is what I just remembered. So let me just search it, because why not? Boom. Yeah, I'm on the PS4. Don't worry. Tinted glass. Now, I'm not going to test this out because I don't really have any... I mean, I have farms, not really mob farms in here. But if you surround this with a torch or anything, not the arrow, the torch right here. 
I mean, you, you can't really see <laughs> the light coming off of it, but yeah, kind of. So now there's light inside this glass, but it won't protrude, protrude through the glass and kind of shine outside. So if you did have a some kind of mob farm, a hostile mob farm, you and you want to actually look inside, now you can have glass and don't need to worry about torches kind of shining a light through and kind of ruining the farms because there you go you got tinted glass using amethysts nice and then these are kind of the uh, different stages so we have small medium large amethyst cluster <laughs> makes total sense but there you go <laughs> i was thinking that was extra large and then it just went straight to amethyst cluster that's that then you harvest this guy just like that, break it with a pickaxe, I would assume. And yeah, I believe, let me actually, I want to see, because I want to know. If I grab bone meal, can I speed up this process? Nope, I don't think so, or do I use this? Nope, but you can put amethyst on these blocks, and it has a kind of cool little sound to it that's nice and you can put amethyst on this block I don't really know what you do with this block right here but it's nice and purple I guess and then some new blocks that we have here is tough and then calisite basically marble it looks like marble so that is pretty cool finally we get something close to marble this does look nice I do like that and then tough looks a lot like uh, gravel but it doesn't break like gravel so yeah <laughs> I guess just new blocks to kind of decorate the caves systems to come part two which I am uh, excited about that too but at least we got all this so far and you can kind of see the light from the uh, glow lichen and these guys do the uh, glow spores, spore blossoms. They also give off light, so that's cool. Oh, and we can, yeah, we can kind of see the torches too. Uh, there's a little bit of light, but not much. I mean, behind the actual glass block where there's no corner, there is like no light coming out at all. And you can see the torch is lighting up that grass block right in there, and no light is coming out. So you can have a whole bunch of these. And then still have mobs kind of spawning, but they shouldn't spawn on the glass, I don't think. But that is cool. And then we have powdered snow or some kind of powdered snow in a bucket. And this pretty much is what you do to actually spawn these blocks in. And if you stand on them, you get slow, and then you start to get frostbite, and then slowly die. And you do move slow through these, almost like quicksand, like that. And they do give off a cool little particle. And it will slow down other mobs. And then when you kind of get out, then the effect slowly goes away. But it, even if you use leather, you should be fine hopping inside one of these blocks. Like that. And then, like so. And then we can bury ourselves. And then you cannot see us anymore. And voila. And the skeletons will become strays inside the, inside these. And I don't think these, I don't know which blocks spawn naturally. I don't think any do at the moment. I believe like with amethyst and I don't know. I think maybe shipwrecks and... Uh, those uh, underground, underwater ruins that you can find around with chests. You might be able to find these items in them. I'm not sure. I did hear that you can find amethyst in them if you're lucky. But copper right now for 100% sure you can kind of farm now with uh, drowns. Which I do have one set up in my survival world. So cool. And then some of the new items here. We have some new mobs. We have Axolotl, Goat, and the Glow Squid. 
and a bucket of axolotl, and then this is a spyglass, which you get from the amethyst, and then amethyst shard, lightning rod, and then new, the new copper ingot. So the lightning rod is pretty much explanatory. Lightning shrugs, strikes. Basically right here. <laughs> no, um, I don't know what the radius is, but this more protects your kind of builds if you're using wool or wooden blocks I guess or you can hit that with a channeling trident and then give off some lightning right there but that's that you I guess use copper for that makes sense all right here we go and then the spyglass is actually pretty sweet using amethyst and then you could just click and then zoom in on objects far away. Like, look at that. You can barely see that st structure right there. And then you can zoom in, craft table, uh, furnace, <laughs> I forgot the name. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And there's a slime all the way out there, and you can barely see the slime. So that is awesome. Definitely gonna get my hands on one of these as soon as I can. And then. For the shard, I believe, um, I guess this is what you get for breaking the amethyst clusters. And then there's a skeleton in my pool of water for the glow squid, which gives us some light and some cool little particle effects, neon glowing. And then you kill him, he'll give off the, uh, the glow ink, which I don't know what you use that for, but I'm sure there's something. Oh yeah, for uh, signs, to make the signs glow. And then we have the axolotls, which hurt the squids. Actually, we can kind of find it. We can get an ink sack from this guy. There we go. We have some glow ink right there. And then, yeah, you pretty much use these on signs to make them glow. And there's the axolotls. And then if you were to catch one in a bucket, basically it is your friend. And I didn't mean to do that. There is a rare one. I think it's this blue one right here. Or is there another is there another blue blue card one colored one? They do sound weird too. There's gold, there's brown, and then there's pink, and then there's this light blue pinkish color. I think there was a dark blue, or at least a fully blue one, which is rare to actually find. But anyway, <laughs> there's a bunch of oxalotl they can use against guardians. That's kinda of starting to lag. So they're all trying to get to the water. Wow. But yeah. <laughs> so now we have a new pet that we can obtain. And then to kind of have them not die, you just splash water on them. I don't know if they will die. If they're out of water, they're just slower. And they will attack mobs for you if you catch them in a bucket. Like that. They're all trying to get to the water. That's funny. Oh, the powered snow. <laughs> oh, they are shaking, though. That guy's shaking. None of them do look like they are dying. So they might not die out of water. Or it's just longer. But they are slow out of water, but they are quicker. I mean, yeah, quicker in the water. And I think you can find these in underwater caves. I'm not sure if you can find them in the overworlds, but I'll have yet to test that out. And then last we have the goats. Baby goats. And there they are, and we don't, don't think we have the goat horn yet, which I don't think has any use if we have it either. Goat. Nope. So we don't have goat. We don't have the goat horn yet. But these are those goats now. And then, yeah, basically. You hit one of these in the wild, I think they will attack you. And they will charge at other mobs. I don't know how ready they are now in this update. But... 
Yeah. Goats. That one went right to the water. And they do hop, but I can't really... Yeah, they're not really jumping at all or doing anything, ramming. Oh, yeah, that one just jumped. He just jumped up over here. And they do... I think they take less fall damage. But they can still die. Uh, if I can kind of place him there. Have him fall. All right. Nope. Just get down. No, you're... What are you doing? I want you to fall. He does not... Oh, so sorry. All right, there you go. Actually, he didn't even take any damage from that at all. Whoa. Whoa. Let me test it out again. All right. Yep, they do take fall damage. <laughs> That was kind of high too anyways, but the first one didn't look like he did take fall damage. Lovely. Cool. Yeah, that's about it. Zoom in on the grass. Nice. And some cows. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Overall, I do like the spyglass. I do definitely want to get my hands on one of these. This is just, it's fun. <laughs> it's just fun to use. It's cool to use. And I do like kind of the ticking sound every time you use it. Nice. All right. So there is that. There is the Caves and Cliffs update. Part one. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll look around for some of these in survival mode. I don't want to travel too far. And kind of mess up the uh, new caves. And that goat just attacked that oxalotl. Or tried to. Yeah, for the new uh, for the part two, I don't want to kind of go too far. Venture out to areas I haven't been to. And kind of mess up the uh, new generations of caves. But probably stick around. Kind of travel around a little bit. Not too far, but we'll see. I definitely can get some copper, though. Well, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.